Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through how to check and deploy our RT6 transponders with our deck topside unit. In this example I'll be using our shallow water deck kit which incorporates our deck topside with release functionality, a dunking nano transceiver and is also commonly used with our shallow water RT6 1000 release transponder. All the steps that I'm going to talk about today in this video are common across the whole RT6 range. So that's the 1000, RT6 3000, 6000 and HD. All RT6 1000s are shipped with their batteries electronically disconnected. Before you can do anything with your RT6 1000, you'll need to connect the battery either via our NFC Android app or an NFC reader with a deck topside. So, let's start off with the basics. We'll first add our RT6 to the deck topside. This can all be done prior to deployment and in air. Ensure your nano dunker is connected to the transceiver connector. You just need to position your nano dunker approximately 30 centimeters from the RT6 so they can make a good acoustic connection. The main home screen has a clear and simple layout. We now want to add a release transponder. To do this, we select the release application on the home screen and then we click on the plus symbol. To add a release, we need to know the unique identifier and the acoustic address. These can be found via the NFC for an RT6 1000 or on the label for our other releases. In this case, our acoustic address is 2402 and our unique ID is 6F53. We add these and then we click save and that will have added our release to the job. Next up, we want to check our acoustic communications. You do this by tapping the refresh button and you should now hear the acoustic communications. On screen, you will now see the vital stats of your RT6, such as battery life, the range to the beacon, the link quality, and its inclination. It's worth noting that the link quality may be poor in air and the range result may be wrong. Next up, we need to load our release prior to deployment. Using the touch screen, select the release action followed by load. Now we've selected our release state, the beacon is ready to load its release. To do this, we make the affirmative action to hold the B button down for 10 seconds. After this time, the system will arm and action the release. We advise you to have your release nut ready. You will hear the release mechanism start to turn, then hold the release nut to the thread on the bottom of the RT6-1000 to steady it, and it will start to wind its way on. The RT6-1000 will stop automatically once the nut is loaded. However, make sure to visually check that the nut has loaded correctly and has not cross-threaded during loading. After this, your RT6-1000 is ready to be deployed. Remember to make sure that when you deploy your RT6-1000, there's enough buoyancy to lift the RT6-1000 and its payload back to the surface. We recommend at least eight kilograms of buoyancy. We've already attached the weight to the bottom of our RT6-1000. Make sure when you're doing this that you use enough weight to attach the RT6-1000 securely to the seabed to take into account any currents or tidal motion that may occur. As we're here at our headquarters, I'm going to be deploying this RT6 into our test tank. Once deployed, you can acoustically communicate with your seabed release. As we saw before, all of the vital information is displayed on the screen. To make it easier to relocate your payload, you can use the built-in GPS to store real-world location of your RT6. To do this, you select the target icon in the top right of the screen and then tap GNSS. After this, you can take a position fix and this will be stored alongside the release so you can see it on the main screen. Next up, what we'd normally do is we'd name our release. So here we tap name and you'll see that we've pre-named this release or this drop location, Thundercat. So we'll save both of those and you'll see them displayed on this main screen here. After this, what we recommend you do is you export all of this information to a report which might be used for end client reporting or similar. To do that, we insert our USB port into the top of the deck top side tap the PDF icon and the deck top side will automatically recognize that USB. We'll then tap save report and it will generate a PDF report of all that information you saw on the screen and export it direct to the USB. I hope you found this deployment overview video useful. Please also check out our other videos on how to recover your RT6 and if you've got any questions don't hesitate to contact your regional officers. Please also like and subscribe on our other YouTube videos.